Jessica Simpson has been making headlines recently due to the release of her tell-all memoir, Open Book, where she apparently lets a lot off her chest and gets real with readers about everything. I personally can't wait to read it. Not to mention, the mom of three has been coming across as super confident these days after her alleged 100 pound weight loss. Jessica looks incredible and she's always seemed to me like one of those celebs that gives off a kind-hearted vibe. In this video, we're going to take a look at Jessica and see how she transformed over her use in the spotlight and what her secrets are to looking great. Jessica Simpson is a singer, actress, fashion designer, mom, and of course we can now add author to that list too. At the time of this recording, Jessica is 39 years old. I best remember growing up with her as one of the pop princesses of the era, considering I'm a 90s kid, and we can't forget her reality show with her ex-husband Nick Lachey either. She's had quite the successful career and basically done it all, but over the years there were times when the tabloids weren't the nicest to Jessica. She took a bit of time out of the spotlight too, which probably had to do with the fact she was busy raising her kids with her husband Eric Johnson. What a beautiful family. Anyways, I'm glad that Jessica seems to be making a comeback. What's going on guys and girls, my name is Kara and this series we have titled Before and After. Today's video is going to be all about Jessica Simpson and her beauty transformation. The star has been portrayed as many personas over the years, from preacher's daughter, to sex symbol, to sometimes ditzy blonde on reality TV and more. One thing's for sure is that she's changed and matured a lot, but she's still the same Jessica fans know and love. Today we're going to talk about Jessica in the early days, if she's had any work done, her inspiring weight loss story and more. I've also done other celebrity transformation videos on the likes of Adele and JLo and we'll have links to some at the end of this video. If you like this channel, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you never miss out. I've been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys and making new friends. Now let's get into this video. Let's start by looking back at Jessica over the years. She broke out into Hollywood in 1999 and stole our hearts with her perky personality and hip hop songs. I always saw her as more of a good girl considering she does come from a super religious church background. Her signature blonde hair changed slightly over the years going from a lighter shade at first to a dirty blonde in 2001. Later that year Jess also tried a brunette look but that didn't last long. Throughout the early 2000s, the same era where Jessica married her sweetheart 90 degree star Nick Lachey, she kept her blonde bombshell look. The pair met when Jessica first started out, and with the release of her album Sweet Kisses, she toured with Nick's band. She was only 19. After Jessica played Nick's diner waitress girlfriend in 98 Degrees music video for My Everything, it was game over. Nick said that when he first met Jessica, he was thinking, I'm gonna marry that girl. And he did. Jessica's success only kept growing and with that so did her confidence. She was America's sweetheart and even though on Newlywed she was portrayed a little ditzy sometimes, we all loved her. Fast forward to 2005, Jessica landed her first acting gig in the remake movie for the classic Dukes of Hazard, where she played none other than Daisy Duke. Although Jessica was already working out on a regular basis, she wanted to get more fit and told People magazine. When I found out I got the role, I went straight to the gym. Any character that has a pair of shorts named after her, you've got to at least try to make the shorts look as good as you possibly can. Then Jessica got into the best shape of her life with the help of her trainer, Michael Alexander. Her workout routine focused on the butt and legs, and she did two hour workouts six days a week. Jess did this for one month before the shoot and then cut it to three to four times a week while filming. Not to mention she was also on a meal plan her trainer calls the Don't Eat Crap Diet, which is a low carb and high protein menu. I think we can all agree that Jessica succeeded in her goal and was a total babe as Daisy Duke. Following this Jessica phase and her unfortunate breakup with Nick, around 2007, she switched things up a little. I'll say it was a tiny identity crisis. Jessica dyed her hair brown again and dated John Mayer. Here her weight started fluctuating slightly. In the years to come and while getting together with her current husband Eric, Jessica's weight would go up and down. But a lot of it also had to do with motherhood. Before we discuss Jessica's 100 pound post baby weight loss, let's see if the stars had any work done. 
The star is a natural beauty and always has been, so I'll start by saying I don't think she's gotten any plastic surgery on her face. She looks the same to me. Jessica has gotten fillers though and way back in 2006 she opened up about getting some in her lips, stating, I had that Restylane stuff, but it fades. It went away in like 4 months. My lips are back to what they were, thank god. It looked fake to me. I didn't like that. More recently, in 2018, when Jessica posted a makeup free selfie on Instagram, fans were commenting like crazy, accusing her of overdoing lip and face fillers. The cyberbullying is so unnecessary, but you can count on random people to say their two cents, even if it is rude. Commenters said that she had too much Botox in areas like her laugh lines as well. We don't know what Jessica does or doesn't get done in terms of fillers, and maybe she does get Botox and lip injections, but I think the star looks great either way. What do you guys think she had done? On another note, Jessica was a lot more open about her post baby plastic surgery that actually caused quite the scare. In her new book, she reveals that she actually had two tummy tuck procedures after her first two kids, which resulted in her being hospitalized. In 2015, Jessica went under the knife to get rid of stretch marks and loose skin from her back to back pregnancies and went for a partial tummy tuck. Her doctor warned her not to because at the time Jessica was drinking a lot and you're supposed to stop all drinking three months prior to surgery. And I'm already regretting my decision. Despite the warning, Jessica went through with it but found herself unhappy with results. She went back for a full tummy tuck and said this surgery was more involved. There was a sense that something was going to go wrong from the get-go, even though I stopped drinking to prepare. Her tummy tuck lasted two hours longer than normal and Jessica ended up getting a nasty infection, colitis. She was throwing up consistently and thought that she was going to burst her stitches. Of course, she had to stay in the hospital for over a week and even then it could have been way worse. After the whole nightmare and when she recovered, Jessica looked great but she admitted that plastic surgery didn't just magically make her feel better about herself. It was great of Jessica to share her experience and truth since I can imagine it helping others who are considering the same procedure. Once Jessica married Eric back in 2014, she had three kids shortly after and her first two pregnancies were pretty much back to back. Jessica had already experienced body shaming prior to that. Who can forget how rude people were with her mom gene incident? She did gain more weight than she expected during her pregnancies but body changes are pretty much a given at that time. I think tabloids have definitely been harsher to Jessica than other celebrities about her weight though. After her first two kids, Jessica still lost about 60 pounds with the help of Weight Watchers and became a spokesperson for them. Recently though, after baby number three, Jessica made an even bigger victory. She was dedicated and proudly lost 100 pounds just six months after giving birth. So let's see how the star made it happen. Jessica said during her last pregnancy, she tipped the scales at 240 pounds, but admitted how hard she worked, stating, even when it felt impossible, I chose to work harder. She worked with Carly Pasternak, a celebrity trainer, on her fitness and nutrition plans. There are a few key things that helped Jessica shed the weight, but the main thing was tracking her steps with a pedometer. Clients are recommended around 10,000 steps a day, but in Jessica's case, she was hitting 14,000 daily or more, which is about 7 miles. She also worked out at least 3 or 4 times a week, toning up with strength training, resistance circuits, and leg exercises like squats and lunges. Her trainer focused on a few different body parts each day. Jessica also committed to a diet of three meals and two snacks per day. Harley said, Meals had protein, fiber, and healthy fat. Snacks had protein and fat or protein and fiber. We did not diet in a tasteless, extreme, radical way. Jessica loves Tex-Mex flavor, so she had a lot of healthy versions of Tex-Mex foods. Apparently, she also had a personal chef to help her out and design a menu, also including a lot of cauliflower-based foods. Other tips Jessica had to live by were getting 7 hours of quality sleep each night, as well as 1 hour away from technology daily. This is important in controlling the hormones in our brain and the cortisol that's released. Minimizing the blue light from our phones is beneficial for that. Jessica was dedicated and worked hard to get happy about her body again. And she looks fit, healthy, and happy. As you probably know, she runs a clothing and accessory line worth over 1 billion and revealed that it's successful because she's been every size on the planet and makes clothes for everyone. I guess it does help that Jessica's relatable. So now we've seen just how much Jessica Simpson has transformed over the years. From a teenage pop star to growing up and becoming more of a sex symbol like she was in Deuce of Hazard to being a mom of three. We've seen her through it all. And she's still 
still America's blonde sweetheart, at least I still see her that way. It's also clear that Jessica's making quite the comeback after taking some time out of the spotlight. Her new book, Open Book, is already doing so great and I'm sure it's a bestseller. Not to mention her billion dollar clothing and accessory empire, and the new album and song she's excited about releasing in the near future. To top all of this off, Jessica looks amazing and seems proud of herself for getting back into such great shape so soon after having baby number three. Either way, I'm happy for her and can't wait to see what comes next. And to read that book. What do you guys think about Jessica's transformation? Let me know in the comments. Okay guys, now I'm going to be reading out some comments from previous videos. On our Nikki tutorials before and after, I bet Mimi said, I absolutely adore Nikki. She's beautiful. She's so inspiring. She gives the best beauty and makeup tips. She's so uplifting and positive and always opens with a big beautiful smile. Watching Nikki's videos always brightens up my day. Go team Nikki. On our Adele before and after video, Azale Dawn said, That's great for her, whatever, as long as it doesn't change her as an artist, hoping that she'll keep her personality and humility. I think she was amazing the way she was before her weight loss, but if she feels better, that's really great. I couldn't agree more. And also on our Adele vid, Zoe Stanhope said, I love Adele, she's so talented and so beautiful, and thank you so much for the video. P.S. You are all beautiful. Thanks for the kind words, Zoe, there should be more people like you out there. Alright guys and girls, that wraps up this video here and before and after. If you want to talk more about Jessica's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think she seems more confident after her weight loss? What was your favorite Jessica look throughout the years? Tell me in the comments. I think she looks amazing. The only look I wasn't feeling as much was the brown hair way back when. She definitely suits blonde most. Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!